it's Devin again uh, with Cap Kids Art Corner. Uh, we are going to be doing some art again today. We're actually going to be doing a little bit of a science experiment as well, so it should be pretty fun. Now let's do a quick check-in. Let's practice our roller coaster breathing. If you remember from the first video, I need your hand up like this, and we're going to get our little roller coaster car, and we're going to breathe in and out. Practice it with me. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Awesome. Really happy to have y'all here. Um, let's jump right in and check in with how we're feeling. Um, how are we feeling in our body? Are we tense? Are we antsy? Are we excited? Are we kind of sleepy? Are we frustrated? Um, try to check in with how your body's feeling. Um, hopefully, if you're struggling with any feelings that are uncomfortable, we might be able to help you feel a little bit better by the end of this video. All right, so you should have seen your supply list at the very beginning of the video. Um, we are actually, I am actually going to move outside to do this activity because it can get kind of messy. Um, I would encourage you to do that as well as long as there is a place outside um, that is safe and that an adult can be there with you. All right, so I'll meet you outside in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, so before we get started, let's make sure that we have everything that we need. We have a clear cup. We have baking soda, we have vinegar, food coloring, dish soap, I have a little craft tray, uh, you can use a baking pan, even a bowl if you want, um, a spoon, painter's tape, and some paper. Alright, now I already actually started my paper. The first step that I'm going to have you do is you're going to take your paper, you're going to make a design using painter's tape. Now painter's tape is super important that you use. Uh, I would not recommend using any other kind of tape. So this part is kind of optional if you don't have, have painter's tape running around, sitting around, you don't need to use it. Um, but if you do have painter's tape, go ahead and make a design of your choosing using that painter's tape. You can go ahead and pause that to do that and check back in with us in a second. So I have this. I have this little kind of abstract design. And I'm going to put this paper right in the bottom of my baking tray just like this. All right. Now I'm going to guess that some of you already kind of know what's going to happen with this. Does anybody know what happens when you mix baking soda and vinegar? It kind of makes a little bit of an explosion. All right. So we're going to do that. We're going to turn it into a little bit of an art project, too. So the first thing you're going to do, you take a spoonful of baking soda. And you're just going to drop it in your cup. Let me make sure that you can see that. There we go. Okay. All right. So we have our baking soda. And we're going to just put a little, before we even put vinegar in, we're going to choose our first color. You can choose any color that you want. I think I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with green. Keep this handy right here. We're going to put a couple drops of green in here. Now what I want you to do, I want you to keep your dish soap handy. This is going to kind of make our explosion even bigger. Put a little bit, a little bit goes a very long way. You do not need a lot. So put a little bit of vinegar in. You should be using your five senses and you might be hearing it fizz. You might smell that vinegar. I'm going to put a little bit more dish soap and a little bit more vinegar. what that dish soap does. That dish soap makes it foamy so it kind of turns into a little bit of a volcano. Now, we might want to change the color. 
So I'm going to throw in some different food coloring color. And I'm going to keep adding a little bit of vinegar. I'm going to stir it. You see the color changing a little bit. Might want to add a little bit more baking soda. I'm going to change the color again. So I'm going to add a little bit more color. I'm going to stir it even more. You see that? It's pretty cool. What color do you see now? I got some red going. I wonder what kind of colors you have going on at home. And so you can keep going back and forth between using the vinegar and then using the baking soda. And then maybe changing the color a little bit. I've got some purple coming, I think. Look at that. And you can kind of experiment with, I wonder what happens if I put a lot of vinegar. Or I wonder what happens if I put a little bit of vinegar. Stir. You want to get real creative. I don't have any at home, but you can also add glitter to this if you have it. So you can make kind of a glittery potion. All right, so I've got one last color. I'm going to use blue. I'm going to see if I can get blue going. Oh, there we go. We got some blue going. A little bit more. Look at that. A little bit more. Now one thing, let's see if I can get this one. Look at how cool that design is. All right. So now we know why we put paper underneath it, right? So what's going to happen is, and this is why we did it outside, we are going to pull this paper up. And we're going to put it somewhere to dry because this is some pretty cool patterns. We're going to come back to this in a second after it's dried a little bit and we're going to see what design we ended up with. So what I'm going to ask you to do is go ahead and move your paper out from underneath this. This is why we had the tray so that it didn't spill, right? Um, and we're going to put our paper out in the sun to dry for a little bit. Um, so if you want to go ahead, you can pause this. You can check back in later. All right, hi everybody. Um, we are back inside and ready to see how our artwork turned out. Um, so hopefully some time has passed and you've allowed your paper to dry a little bit, like mine has. Um, I am going to take off my painter's tape and see what we came up with. So while I'm doing that, let's talk a little bit about, I know I warned you, one of my favorite things to talk about, feelings. Okay, so we created a little bit of an explosion in our chemical reaction today, didn't we? What feeling comes to mind when you think about explosions? I know I think about anger and how sometimes the perfect combination of things in the perfect situation can create what we call like the perfect storm of anger or frustration. And sometimes that can lead to big explosions like the one we created. Um, so I guess my question for you is, what is your perfect storm that creates like big explosions for anger? Uh, for me, it's when I'm kind of cranky and sleepy um, and hungry and things are not going my way. So if all those things are happening, it is more likely for me to get angry. Um, so what do we do with this information once we know what our perfect storm is? We use coping skills. Uh, if you remember, uh, coping skills are safe things that you can do to make yourself feel better whenever you're experiencing these big feelings. Uh, it might be deep breaths, like we've talked about before. It might be playing the five senses game, like we've talked about before. It might be creating artwork. Um, I would love to know some coping skills that you guys use uh, to help yourself feel better when you make, uh, when you have big feelings. So if you feel like it, uh, you can comment on this video or you can send me an email and let me know what those coping skills are. Maybe we can start making a big list together of coping skills to use whenever we're stuck at home. Um, all right, so 
All my tape is off. I wish I could see what you guys created, but I'm going to show you what I created. I'm pretty, pretty excited about it, actually. So if you notice, what did the painter's tape do? The painter's tape kind of trapped some of this color, um, and it kept our design. Check that out. And by showing this, actually, I just saw the back. The back is super cool. I might actually like the back better than the front. Um, and that's one of my favorite things about art is that sometimes, like, things happen by mistake uh, that you didn't even plan uh, that turn out really awesome. I always am excited about how art can surprise me. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, so this was our activity for today. Um, we used almost all of our five senses. If you remember what the five senses are from last week, it's sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste. Hopefully you didn't taste anything today. Uh, I know I definitely smelled the vinegar and I heard the reaction with the baking soda and the vinegar. Um, and I saw all the really cool colors in the explosions. Um, I don't know about you, but my paper kind of feels a little dusty from the baking soda. Um, so we use our sense of touch there as well. I would love to hear what you guys noticed in your five senses as well. So if you feel like shooting me an email with that, that would be really cool as well. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to make art with us today. And I will see you soon. Have an awesome day.